years. Oh, and you know what the judge did? A black woman Uga, gave Uga. her a hug and said that she forgive her, man. Africa for you got children? Man. I do not have any children. Africa for life, man. You got children? You don't even get no pussy. Salam. You got children? Yes. I didn't harm your children, right? They did something while your children were standing next to you. And they harmed your children, punched your children in the face, and your children was bleeding out of the nose and mouth and all of that. Would you be wrong for what injustice for that crime that person did against your children? Of course. W would you be wrong? Hey, law. No, you would not be wrong. You know why? Why? Why wouldn't you be wrong? You know he's high as him. You don't want to say. You know why you want to be wrong? Because you love your children. That's why. That's why. That's why. Well, guess what? God loves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And what you did against them is a crime according to God. And since he loves us so much, he gonna put you in chains, man. He gonna put you in slavery, man. That's why we call you the devil, the Bible speaks of. If you Native Americans, you should be on our side speaking against the so-called white man, man. You should be with us and understand that what happened to your asses is a crime, man. Because you're a queen, you And the priests thereof teach for hire. And the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say... You manipulate the words. It's all right, man. We out here for Bax and Spanish and Native Indians, man. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 1 And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed, that do feed themselves. Now listen, we warning you, and we shouldn't even have to be out here warning you. Every Native American Indian brother and sister knows about the track record of the fork-tongued devil, the white man, that came over into his land and stole everything that he had. You understand? You got him on camera, man. Just look at him right now. He was up here earlier talking about we should just love everybody. Why well, can't everybody just love everybody? Meanwhile, right now, he over here trying to get locked and he don't know that he'll get laid the fuck down and he'll step out of line. Right. It was uh, it was uh, Damn right. we just all get along. Now he over here like, why don't you just take care of your family, bitch? Right. Nobody fool like you. That's what I told you over there. Because of who your father is, I know you. I will never forget. Just like white people never forget 9-11, well, right. niggas will never forget slavery. That's right. We'll never forget Jim Crow. Right. We'll never forget uh, That's right. Rights. We'll never forget to take the trail of tears. We'll, ne we'll never forget to take the trail of tears. We'll, ne we'll never forget to take the trail of tears. We'll, ne we'll never forget to take the trail of tears. We'll never forget to take the trail of tears. We'll never forget to take the trail of tears. Black girl! Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Now, please let him in. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all are to for sure stand down. Not put that damn thing. You understand? These brothers is good. You understand? Don't hey, listen. Don't touch him, man. Don't touch him. You back up. Take a step. Take a step. One step. There you go. Let him come. Because if he crossed that line, that's on him. I just want him on camera. I just want him on camera. And I want everybody else to see what the devil looks like, man. He is red and hairy all over. Hey, 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 hey. Stay. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Recha Ha. Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith, whoever you may be that make up the body of this ministry. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the elect. So anyway, I saw this uh, controversial video from the ISUPK, and um, we get some of these riled up people coming to us sometimes. And um, I, and I noticed that um, this Cesar Borgias, let me say that, that he was uh, blowing smoke. He like they that's what they do. They're very um, disrespectful, right? So I noticed how he was just blowing smoke in the uh, IUSPK faces, right? And you would ask them, don't do that, or they'll walk by our camp and just blow it in their face. So you're gonna see start seeing the the evils. 
evil Edom start rising up in his mindset, you know? And then he says, people been fighting wars since the beginning. This is the, and then he says, we were all like animals. <laughs> this is the animalistic mindset of, you know, Edom, you know? That's what he, he always makes excuses, you know? After you done conquered, raped, robbed, pillaged, murdered, now we need to be in peace. Because you know what that peace does? It keeps you oppressed. It keeps you conditioned. Right? This is what the whole Christian church was set up for. You know, that's another video. You know, to calm these black spiritual people. Keep them docile. That's why Yahweh said, go to the lost sheep. Not all sheep, the lost sheep, the elect of Israel. So, you see um, this one guy in the front, he said he was a Native American. You got to watch them too because a lot of them acclaim Native Americans. And yeah, he said his, father, his mother was Native American, but he doesn't know. You, you got to go with the spirit. But um, he could have been just roused up. <laughs> And he just said, you know, he went hard for, you know, the scriptures. But I should be take it like this is a, a white man that didn't lost control because his father is German. Just for edific, you know, just for the truth's sake, let me say that. Just because your father, your mother is um, Native American, your father is German, still doesn't mean you're, you're uh, Caucasian. You could still very well be an Israelite. Just for that sake. But I'm not there to read that spirit, that man's spirit. I don't know what the hell he was. All I do know is he was raising up, and we're seeing a lot of them come up in the one, in the Cesar Borgias looking uh, character. We get some of them too. So they're going to start climbing out of the woodworks. And what they do is they sit home, and even though you hear the vocabians and the mic singers and um, Jada producers and all these other black Christians joined to vo vocab they're building up a, a, a form of an assault on our truth right and then Edom he's going to really hate us waking up because in his mindset being docile and sleep shooting and killing each other we ain't got to worry about them coming in our hoods and that they worship us, of course they want to push the, the uh, policy of peace, as Daniel 8.25 say. Let's go to Deuteronomy 30 and 6. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and thy heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And this is going into the first commandment. You can see this in Mark the 12th chapter. Then it goes on to say, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies, on them that hate thee and persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord, and do all his commandments which I commanded thee this day. So all these curses now are coming uh, upon Edom. Right? And the ones who follow Edom, right? The ones who follow them, they since they love the society, of uh, uh, the Adumian society, since they love that, they're right along with them. So they're going to be the ones that fight for him. They're going to be in the front lines, sending them jakes and tears up to come against us. Remember, this is their society. Okay? You're going to see that. So that's why I'm doing this video because you're going to start seeing these type of situations. And, you know, the scripture says, much life in you live peaceably amongst all men. But you know this type of situation is going to bring more trouble. You know, then the police comes up. This man, whoever he was, just took their, their signs and just threw them. You know? But meanwhile, they're saying we're pushing the hate. When through words we're saying what we're saying because the words are sharp, 
you have so much hate hate in you that you pick up signs of people's property and throw it. That's like walking up to somebody's car because y'all got a little argument and you just kick his door and put a big dent in it. You're telling him to stop being angry and hateful and love, but then you come up and kick or knock over the signs. That's where we at now. Job 30 and 5. They, are, they were driven from among men they cried they cried after them as a after a thief to dwell in the clefts of the valleys in the caves of the earth and in the rocks you're right and um, and the bushes they braid under the nettles they have gathered together they are the children of fools yea the children of base men this is how we know the most high is a powerful being to take them and raise them up over us and what you see is their carnal mind. See, before they had the money, they had the education, they had the influence. But what you see now is the influence, the money, the education, everything is starting to slip right back away from them. So they're coming back into their carnal mindset, that carnal nature. Not to mention ISUPK is a very carnal nature camp. But at least they're teaching the truth. At least they're teaching the truth. They would be those guys when that day come is ready to, you know, they sit doing classes and got big samurai swords <laughs> laying around. So in a Job 20 and 22, it says, every hand of the wicked shall come upon them, going on eat them. You know, I'd imagine it's going to be just Jake in the street. You know, other Israelites, uh, maybe a portion of I should be K. Because I can't say any of them are not the elect but a portion of them you know they got that mindset the hand of the wicked coming upon them and Job 20 and 22 right let's go to Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes 12 and 10 never trust thine enemy like so is iron rust as so is his wickedness iron when it rusts it grows it grows like a cancer and that's all rust is. It's a cancer to metal. Like in your body, you automatically have cancer. If the soldiers of cells don't keep that cancer at bay, they'll come up and then they'll start eating up everything. So it's the same thing with rust. If your clear coat or the, um, the layer of good metal is breaking down, then the rust, will, the, the elements of the rust will come and eat it all away. Because after all, that's what everything was meant for. It's like metal is meant, if it gets old and it's laying around, the earth is going to have to eat it back up. It'll eat up itself. So this is what rusteth and wickedness they do. So as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. His wickedness just continues to grow. He's got a cover over it to cover it up so you don't see the rust or the evilness. But when that cover starts to break down, then you start seeing the rust, the filth. It says, though he humbled himself and go a crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as he has wipeth his face, wipeth a looking glass. Now you put your face in a glass. And thou shalt know that the rust have not been altogether wiped away. So we could, we can see. But right now, we roll with it, we see things, we teach until the Lord give us that time. But we're exposing them now. Isaiah 47, I believe it's 47, says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne of the Chaldeans, which represents them. You shall no more, no longer be called tender and delicate. And that's what we see. The delicateness and the tenderness of the pump that is being brought low, which means his excellency uh, is being brought low. You know, we can clearly see it being brought low. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this and um, how the eye should be K. <laughs> They're in the mindset of squeezing the neck till the eyeballs pop out, you know. But um, something has to be 
seriously enraged in his man to see all these big jakes standing up there looking crazy because we look crazy to the world in general and that spirit was on him no matter what I'm frustrated my world this is how I'm supposed to be if he's an Edomite but even Jake Jake will fight for Edom and Edom will blow smoke in your face and walk on down the street now your neck is squeezed your eyeballs are popped out and Esau, he's on down the street with his feet kicked up on the couch with some dirty socks. <laughs> That's all I have on that, Shalom.